Now that you finally invested the money into a good set of leathers, you want to invest the time into taking care of them to make sure that they last. So here's a quick video on how to clean and protect your leathers. The first time you get them dirty is always the worst, but after you realize how easy it is to take care of them, it won't be a big deal in the future. Now, in ancient history, cavemen like me would keep our jackets clean and sort of protected with a product called saddle soap. And it came in a little can like a can of shoe polish, and the last can I had dried out and had to be thrown away years ago. So that's how I used to take care of my leathers. Later I got a different kind of leather that's more of a suede type coat, and that, instead of having a saddle soap or anything, you would basically dry clean it, and then use some kind of a leather suede protector. It was just a spray coating to protect the coat from water. For mesh or textile, you of course don't need to put any actual leather protection on it, but for the leather parts of our gear, we definitely want to protect it. The Danese suit I bought was the first of that brand I'd bought, and it was the first one I'd ever bought that came with its own cleaning kit. So it actually has two bottles that come with it. One is a cleaner and one is a protection cream. You can also buy the Danese cleaning kit separately for whatever suit you have. It not only comes with both the cleaner and the protectant, but it also comes with a little sponge and a rag. Per the directions included with the Danese kit, you start with the leather cleaner, put it on a clean cloth, and use light circular movements. Don't rub it, just light circular movements. Do a small area, and then pick a dry area of the cloth or a different one, and dry it off. You also want to get enough cleaner in and move from sections fast enough that you're wiping it while there's still fluid on it. In other words, it doesn't have time to dry off, but you're actually drying it off with the, the clean rag. We're going to repeat that for the whole suit. Pick your system that works. I tend to start with the back first and do, you know, a section at a time and then work from the upper arms to the lower arms on each side and then kind of the front of the leg, back of it, and then this lower part here on the shins and repeat for the other leg. So pick whatever system. Also to note, if your suit has any kind of this stretchy that's more of like a textile type material and not leather, you do not have to clean that. I mean, I guess you could clean it technically had bugs or something on it, uh, but you don't have to leather condition it. Then we're gonna give the suit a half hour, and then we're gonna come back with a protection cream, do the same light circular movements, and then let it dry before we store it. Now that we've cleaned the suit and we've given it a half hour to dry like the instructions say, we're gonna move to the leather protection cream. Again, put it on a dry rag, and do a section at a time with circular light motion again just like with the cleaner. The difference is that this time we don't wipe it off with another rag. We just make sure that the rag always has enough of the protection cream on it so that it looks wet as we're doing it and then we finish the section and move on to the next one and then just allow that to dry. Once you get through conditioning all the leather on your leathers then you simply let it dry and store it until your next use. They recommend doing this full treatment two to four times a year. So keep protecting your leathers so they can keep protecting you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to learn more about how to enjoy amazing machines like this.